Hello, my name is Peter. I work for the OME team based in Dundee. And thank you very much for sh watching this short video in which I will show you how you can enjoy more integration between ImageJ and Omero. Uh, first of all, I will show you how you can, on an image which I'm just opening in ImageJ, uh, create a couple of regions in image J and uh, export these regions into Omero directly together with the image you've just opened. So I'm using the Bioformats plugin to open a stack in the DV format which has just happened. I will find a nice plane and I will use the ROI manager of image J to add a couple of types of regions onto this image. First a rectangle, I will add it to image J, then I will choose an ellipse, add it to the list of regions in the ROI manager. Now I would like to export the image as it is in its original format as a DV with those two regions into Omero. For that I will use our uh, improved plugin uh, for image J, um, which when you put it into your plugins folder of your image J will create this new item Omero and we have a new uh, sub item upload and save to Omero. This I will execute. I will be encouraged to log in to my uh, Omero server, which I do. And after that, a data manager of Omero Inside appears, and immediately after that, an importer of Omero, where I'm asked to select the place uh, into which to import the image which I have in my current window of ImageJ. I will select a project called ImageJ Results, and a data set called original format. When I click add to the queue, the content of the current um, window in image J is put into the queue and I will import the stack in its original DV format. Uh, I didn't have to click any uh, tick boxes or uh, doing do something special in order to import those two regions. They will be automatically Add it to the image and transformed into Omero regions. So after the import has finished, just now I went to the data manager of Omero Insight. I'm still within the uh, plugin of Omero for Image J, and I'm viewing the newly imported thumbnail uh, of the newly imported image. I can see in the right hand pane that the ROI account says that there are two regions that's uh, as expected and that the image has been imported in its original form. I can now view the image in Omero, in Omero Insight, uh, and I can uh, open the ROI tool of Omero and I can see that these are those two images which have been transformed into Omero images. Uh, these are those two regions which have been transformed excuse me into the Omero regions from the regions which I created here in image J. This would be a first workflow. In the second part of this video I would like to show you how you can um, import into Omero on the fly the images which you are creating during your image analysis uh, workflows in image J and also uh, with ev eventual uh, regions of interest you might create in image J as well. Let me just go back to image J this is my image in image J. I will clean the ROIs which I had there and one of 
the workflows I would like to demonstrate here is a simple idea that very often in image J you might want to crop your image uh, so let's do that I will use the image J command image crop a cropped image has been created from the original DV image which I had open in image J I just created a new image on which I will um, also create a couple of regions and now I will export this new image directly into Omero using the same command so again plugins Omero upload and save to Omero again I will select the project and uh, another dataset called crops uh, as a place where to export the image in the current window of my image J which is this one and I will add it to the queue and press import what is happening now is image J is exporting uh, the planes of the stack and writing an OME TIFF this is done by our bioformats plugin and this OME TIFF is now being imported into Omero uh, the upload to the Omero server has already finished now we are reading pixels and after we've done that again we go to the data manager to see the freshly imported in this time OME TIFF this was an image which we created in image J on the fly and uh, in order to be able to import it into Omero we had to transform it into OME TIFF and we also uh, created two regions on this uh, newly created image in image J I can see here that uh, the ROI counter tells us as expected there are two regions we can double check them by viewing in a full viewer in Omero we will open again the region tool in Omero and we can see that the two regions are corresponding to the two regions which we created on the image uh, on the crop um, in image J that would be all uh, for this very short video I hope that you would be able to uh, use these new features to your full advantage I wish you a very nice day bye bye